立ち向かうは地味猛烈悪気羅折いな七期の英霊剣豪参りましょう主山決画の試合舞台フェイトグランドオーダーエピックオブレムナント英霊剣豪七番勝負 Hello everyone, welcome back to Shimosa in Fate. Grand Order. We're in the pseudo-parallel world, which is different from a pseudo-singularity, which is confusing. Uh, let's go to Prima Cantica Purgatorio, the middle. I wonder if one point we'll get like a switch- Oh, thank god I can pick other servants. Hmm. Well, let's see here. It's recommending me to grab probably someone who is... Is that a level 100 gil? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can get my servants back! Oh, thank God. Oh, we're good. Oh, bless up. Okay, in that case, um, let's switch you off for a castar. Uh, let's go with uh, go with Seagy Boy. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, that looks good. That looks fine by me. Let's go. Now, in terms of you get more bonus, actually, let's be looking at people who get the bonus here, right? For Pseudo Singularity 3. Who else gets bonus, bonus bond up? Who else do I want to bond with? Let's bond with you because, I mean, yours is, your, well, hmm, that's going to take a lot. I'm not gonna get you up from that. Um, let's see. Who do I want to get their bond up with? I'm mostly focusing on characters who Well, I know I'll be doing your um Betty's um uh rank up quest later, interlude. Because there's a uh, now that I'm past the first part, there's a lot of interludes I do want to do. So I will be doing that. It just is a case of making sure that I get to it. Um, Koo also, for A, the fact that I want him to bond up, but also I want to do his, I don't, because I didn't, no, I did, I did your bond up, never mind, your interlude. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Um, Taiga. Always a good Taiga to have in there. Um, you get the bond up, you get the bond up. Is there any casters who do? seem to be okay sounds good well let's go star quest section two prima cantica purgatorio all i can think of is bayonetta oh a time has come the dark jesuit sorcery i performed here in the katori shrine has borne luscious fruit into well, hold up. Jesuit sorcery? That means follower of Jesus. Huh. I now control seven knights from across time and space. They are the shadows of figures who have made their mark on humanity. They are neither ghosts, nor evil spirits, nor vengeful specters. No, of course, are they heroic spirits. They are seven heroic spirit swordsmen, each one whom carries a blade made to cut this world to pieces. Caster of Limbo? I've never even heard of you. Indeed, indeed. Now that we heroic spirits summoned by the Holy Grail have been paired with your sorcery, these seven knights infused with my curse of annihilation have become rare and exceptional beings. They shall become your hands, they shall obey your every command and cut down everything in their path. They cannot be hurt, killed, or defeated by any manner of blade. They merely rage on, killing every living thing they can find. There are none in this plane of existence who can stop these tempests in human form. The world of humans will end, there will be no salvation. I've literally never seen you. Indeed. However, we are missing one night. I am aware the heroic spirit swordmasters must include seven, including you. Caster of Limbo, lower the veil of night. Let the reaping begin. As you wish. Son, son, hear me, son. I command you to set and hide your warming light. 
Set, set, I command you to set. Close your eyes and sleep. Slumber while night falls not. Away with you, sun. Now's the time for we demons to run free. Come, darkness, scourge all living things. He sound this guy, guy, I'm assuming, sounds like a author type. Like a poet, perhaps. Oh, that's, that's a problem. What happened to the sky? Why did it go dark again? It might be storm clouds or rain. No, oh, this isn't like what happened last time. I can see the moon, and it's red. It's true, it really is night. I've never seen anything like this. It's far too early for sunset. For that matter, what are we to make of that? Ta-da! The moon is shining, an ominous red. This can't possibly be good. The sky simply going dark is a sign that evil spirits are about to show up, then a blood-red moon can only pretend something really evil. M what was it? Bandits and burglars come out at night and... Oh, I remember Grandpa said that when the moon's a different color than usual. That means there's going to be a lot of bandits. Oh, that sounds dead on. Get it? Dead on. Apply directly to the forehead. Unfortunately, we can't face them head on with Onome and Tosuke here. But we must hurry. I shall carry them myself. Now, where to go from here? That way. <laughs> That's eastward. Then let us run. Oh yeah, Naruto running across the plains of Japan. What a dream that is. Through the bamboo groves. Yo, I've been in a bamboo grove. It is pretty dang cool. I had hoped we could avoid trouble if we ran away as fast as we could, but it seems I was wrong. Are you scrambling now, Lord Inshin? Creepy sky stopped us in our tracks, but we need to keep going. And after we do something about these guys in our way, of course. Uh... My command spells are burning hot. Could this mean... Absolutely. I'm not usually a fan of fighting for my life so many times in one day like this. But I guess when you're up against ghosts, phantoms, and evil spirits who have no problem going after children, there isn't much choice. There's no telling if these things can be reasoned with, so I guess they're just a roadblock for now. Let's go. Yay. I have my servants back. I have my servants back. I'm... Very happy. Let's see here. What are we dealing with? Nice battle theme. I like it quite a bit. Just... <laughs> I'm sure... I'm sure Sieg loves being right by these shirtless men. Actually, he would feel nothing. You would feel absolutely nothing about this. Yes. Slap his... Just slap him. There's no reason to not. Okay. Um, let's do this to get you meter. And... Very nice. Oh, no. I forgot about this. Okay. What's next? Oh, I'm digging this battle theme. This is good. This is great. Good. Just in general. Real nice soundtrack in this game. Um, I don't think you have something that gives you... Just increase your gain. Sure, let's use that. Let's see if we can get it from maybe attacking a ghost. We'll go Magecraft up. I need to start upgrading you. Um, and we'll go like this. Okay. A lot of these welfare guys, I don't really upgrade, which I know I should. And you're done. Very nice. Big slappies. Um, do I want to use this? I could. Ah, sure, we'll see how much meter we get back again when we... Well, if we don't kill him. We'll see. I mean, because we got double Gilgamesh super for the... Whatever, um... Swordsman comes in our way, so... Okay. What do we got? Oh, it's another dark warrior. I love this dude. 
what a cool design. I feel like I've seen it before, but I can't necessarily place my, uh, you know, place where I've seen it. It might have been in an event, but in those events, the ones that I, the couple events that I play but don't show the story, I still like, I still play the events, but I kind of close, I don't close my eyes, but I, I try to avoid looking at the actual battles just so that I can be like, you know, I don't know what it'll be, you know, in case there's stuff there. I don't focus on it, you know? I don't know, I don't look with the same eye that I look at when I, um, when I play it like this. All right, how much more? Yeah, okay. Just a little bit. All right, let's just finish this. I am very happy we got our servants back. This will make things a lot easier, though I have a feeling it's gonna probably come and go, right? It's gonna be like, nah, -uh. for this mission you you for this mission you get them, for that mission you don't. Hey, bond up. Bond dessine. Ho ho. Hey, get out of here. Here we go. I'm um, Tanner. Can I ask you something? The reason we were able to beat those spirits so much easily than the others is wasn't because they were going easy on us. It's because we had help this time, right? What I mean is, unless I'm wrong, your allies did most of the work this time, right? Uh, I really couldn't summon them before. I cannot speak to the specifics, but perhaps that is because of me. This is merely speculation, but... Since I am a servant, perhaps I somehow helped to energize your connection, or cause something to happen while Lady Musashi and I cross swords. Huh. Okay. At any rate, Tanner, I sense that your spells are back in working order. Yep, now I can, should be able to fight like usual. Awesome. That's really great to hear. Combine that with having Lord Inshin on our side and evil spirits like these should be no big deal. That said, we can't get careless. We need to keep our guard up until we know for sure that we're safe. Speak of the devil, I'm sensing an evil aura. Indeed, how right you are. Good swordsman never lets down their guard, no matter how skilled they may be. We are the heroic spirit swordmasters. Not find us so easily defeated as ordinary spirits. Swordmasters, guess what? I have strong archers. Who are you? I'm really scared. Oh god. Oh no, we get behind Tanner. These demons are nothing like the ones we just faced. For one thing, they have flesh and sense. Spen sense that speak volumes about what they are. This is the 16th year of Kane. That sense shouldn't exist in a world where the Shimbama Shimbara Rebellion is over. It smells as though they just killed mere moments ago. They must be covered in blood from head to toe. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh, are you Archer of Inferno? Female Archer, huh? What a fearsome man. He is like an Oni when he wields his spear. Any ordinary heroic spirit, spirit core would have been run through. Be careful, everyone. This man means to kill us. Uh, so you managed to deflect my spear with a single arrow. Seems Shimusa is home to many incredibly strong women. Or perhaps it is simply where all manner of monsters assemble. One, two, three. Ah, so this is the aura imparted by other servants. Now that I have sensed their inhuman presence for myself, I see that it is a rather disturbing feeling. Servants? Indeed, indeed. Oh, you. Carnivorous man. I mean, I eat meat too, but I wouldn't describe myself as carnivorous. We are the six heroic spirit swordmasters. Lady Shinmen Musashi of the famed Niten Ichiryu. Lord Hozuin Inshin, a spearman whose skill elevated him to the realm of gods and the Buddha himself. And the master of Chaldea. <laughs> Pleased to meet your acquaintance. We six knights have materialized in this world to transform it into hell. Can you show me what you look like? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the caster of Limbo. Can I see what you look like, please? What the? 
uh, behind you. Don't worry, I've got this. Okay, I, I know you. She did it. No, that was just a shadow. Her opponent remains unscathed. Yeah, I know who you are. I am the assassin of Para Iso. Those brilliant flashes I heard tearing through the darkness must have been the sounds of your Niten Ichiryu techniques. I must say I'm a bit disappointed. They cannot compare to those of us who know the blood and chaos of a turbulent world. My apologies. I'm to think of it. Hail from such a world as well, don't you, Shinman Musashi? Not really. I don't know about the Musashi from this world, but I never fought in any turbulent battlefield like that. You're a shinobi who excels at stealth, right? How nice you to show yourself in the middle of battle, like... Huh? Did she just attack mid-sentence? This must be the Heavenly Eye. Once she lays her eyes on a target, her next strike lands like fate crashing down. It is a blow all but a shirt to end her opponent's life. One of Shinman Musashi's greatest, most formidable gifts. Yet even that strike was blocked. How did you stop it? Oh, I know you! I am the Rider of Kalasutra Hell. I assure you I did nothing special. I simply swung this sword. You're a rider here. Interesting. I simply swung him with this sword as I saw. I mean, I guess then again, um, uh, last time, uh, what's his face? Phantom of the Opera got summoned as a berserker. So, yeah. If I place my sword here, the enemy's blade will halt. If I swing it here, the enemy's head will fly. It's only natural I would understand that. How could I hunt down Oni if I didn't? <laughs> what a strange monk you are. What a terrifying woman. That was the best I had, and she parried it like it was nothing. I needed to take out at least one of them with that technique if I were going to stand a chance. I hate to admit it, but they're all stronger than me. <sighs> well, this is just great. Oh, but don't take that as an admission of defeat. I'm just surprised how you're all a little tougher than you look. Defeating all of you now would be a real pain. All the more so if I did, don't kill you. You all seem to know a lot about us, but unfortunately, we're still in the middle of our journey. So, you know, you can always let us go and you can pick this up again another time, right? Oh my, oh my. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Here we are trying to kill you. But you have no intention of killing us. You don't even intend to protect yourself. You know that you cannot beat us, so instead you're summoning up every ounce of courage you have to let the children behind you escape with their lives. What a kind person you are. It's wonderful to see but unfortunately for you, we are not human and cannot be moved by human emotions. We are heroic spirit swordmasters, and thus, we have no compunctions whatsoever about killing you. In fact, we'll begin by killing the three humans cowering behind you. Uh, she looks oddly familiar. Stunning, girlish voice. Well done, well done. Even fairy tale heroes would stand in line to watch you fight. I can't believe you're still alive and talking after crossing swords with Kalasutra. I guess people from the Tokugawa era aren't totally worthless after all. Surely you cannot be serious, Sai. The only sort of people who live decent lives in the Tokugawa era are ones like the children over there. Atone for your shameful lapse in judgment by killing yourself, insect. <laughs> Sorry, but no, Kalasutra. This is coming from up in the trees. I can't see her, but I can tell she's formidable too. In fact, her aura is somehow even more evil than this other woman's. Oh man, it's enough to make me want to cry. I love Lord Inshin weren't here. And I've already burst into tears. Well, don't sweat the small stuff. I think it's great that we have heroic spirits with hands as dirty as ours. I don't mind people like that at all. In fact, I rather enjoy them. But... Can I see you? None of that matters. We're all way too far gone. <laughs> we don't need anything anymore. No money, nor f or fame, or the moon, or grace. It can all just melt away for all we care. Huh? Get back, Musashi. That was a sound. Is that water? Flash flood? No, wait. Have a little taste of my special brew. Touch it and it'll melt your melt, your hand, and everything else. It must be dark sorcery. How'd she use it without revealing its true name? Lady Musashi, make sure that Tanner and the children stay safe. This is a matter best settled between servants. Let me handle this. Behold what the Hozoan style is truly capable of. This is the pinnacle of the spear, the eleven forms that were never once defeated in all my life. Yabora Urozoki. Wow, you deflected water with your spear? I don't even get that. That's what I did. Indeed, there is nothing my cross-shaped spear cannot pierce. 
six heroic swordmasters, was it? Step forward if any of you dare. From here on, I shall be fighting to kill. Whether you be Oni or God or the Buddha himself, my spear will not hesitate to pierce you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I am the Berserker of Samgata Hell. I'm impressed, Hozoen. Oh, and you're handsome, too. Even if I didn't reveal its true name, I never thought you'd be able to stop a droplet from my noble phantasm. Especially since you don't even have a curse of annihilation yourself. Oh, sure sounds familiar. My, my, did you hear that berserker of some god of hell? That child there seems to recognize you. It seems there's more to him than meets the eye, like an insect you can't. Wait. Squash. I've heard your voice before, too. Oh, oh. Kalasutra. Samgata, enough playing around. Are the great heroic spirit swordsmen incapable of remembering their lord's orders? Limbo, you were supposed to ensure everything went smoothly. Why do you leave any of them still alive? Paraiso Inferno, the same goes for you. So this is interesting. Paraiso Inferno. We have Hells. They're all named after different types of afterlife. That's interesting. Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry. My apologies. So, okay, yeah, Kalasutra Hell is a type of hell, and in Sangata Hell is another type of hell, obviously. You are right, of course. I don't remember signing up to be anyone's lapdog. I thought the agreement was that we could handle things however we wanted. Little. Hey, sorry to interrupt your infighting, but uh, if you're all having a bit of a falling out, would you mind if we went on our way? Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't bother. I know what you're going to say. You there, the guy in the cloak. You must be the leader. <clears throat> I can already tell you're not the type to tell us your objective and look for a point of compromise. Our objective? That should be quite obvious. First of all, you will hand that spearman over to us. But me? Correct. After that, we will massacre every living person here. All who encounter heroic spirit swordmasters must die. There will be no exceptions. If you think you can pull that off, go ahead and... Of course we can pull that off. Did you truly think the six of us incapable of doing so, woman? I recognize about half of them. Huh. Sly Fox. Never mind all six. Any one of these people could pull that off. If we just surrender, they'd end up killing us all the same. Tanner, Tanner. Words alone will not be enough to get us out of this. Should I fight all six of them? I will not be able to guarantee Onoe and Tosuke's safety. These are not ordinary servants. I cannot put my finger on it, but there's something highly unusual about their nature. That makes me a good match for them. In, per in part because they evidently came here seeking me. Of course, that isn't the only reason. My first time fighting them, but my noble phantasms should be able to handle them. So why do I at least be able to buy some time? Listen closely. I want you to let me handle this on my own. You mean run away while you act as a decoy? Exactly. Make a run for it, and Musashi is sure to follow. That should, uh... I missed that sentence. That is as it should be. You must carry Anoi and Tosuke on your back. Are you? Are we clear? Okay, bye, dude. You're gonna turn evil, I bet. Good, I'm counting on you. <sighs> Listen up, you villainous Oni, calling yourselves heroic spirit swordmasters. You certainly do reek of blood, and as Lady Musashi said, none of you are fit to live in a peaceful world. How fortunate that you evidently have business with me. As one who practices the teachings of the Buddha, it is abundantly clear you could all use a good lesson. There you have it, Lady Musashi. The rest is up to you now. Lord Inshin? Tanner, run. Here I go. <laughs> don't let go of Tosuke. Oh god, don't let them get us. <sighs> huh? Get on my back. Baby on my back. Baby on my back on the back. Go, Musashi, you must protect Tanner and the children. Thank you, Lord Inshin. Be sure to pay you back for this with interest. Like, 1795 with a 1% interest rate over monthly period. Good. Now we can fight without restraint. So you've chosen to let yourself be used as bait, Hazoan Inshin. Give it up. Your plan is no hope of success. Well, I don't know about that. It is true that your swordsman aura is immense. I believe it's on par with my own magical energy. I can also tell that you are a true master of your art, person with monstrous abilities like Musashi. Be that as it may, it matters not for my purpose here. Even as we speak, 
There's a young man carrying young children while making his escape, and they are accompanied by a swordsman of incredible skill. It falls upon me to ensure their safe passage. This is exactly what I shall do. I see, then you shall soon be dead. Well, he's going to come back as a villain, I bet. Or we'll find him with a bloody sprite and he'll be like, I did my best, dude. No battles, huh? Interesting. Interesting. This was certainly reckless. But Inshin had no intention of fighting a losing battle. He had every confidence in his noble phantasm. The Oboro Urazuki 11 forms, the ultimate cross-shaped spear technique. A form that Inshin had devised himself in response to his master Ine's 15 forms. An invincible spear technique capable of adapting to any opponent or technique. Accumulation of all his training said to be on par with the Buddha himself. Whether using it against an opponent he had never fought before or against any sort of weapon, armament, or technique, Inshin would never lack the advantage. He would parry, counter, or evade anything his opponent threw at him, follow it up with a fatal strike. A great feat, eminently worthy of leaving its mark on humanity and enshrining him as a heroic spirit. Ordinarily, no mere human could hope to achieve it. And yet, Hozo and Inshin had done so. Thus, as a lancer, Hozo and Inshin was certain that he could fight calmly and with precision for as long as needed, no matter what sort of impossible offensive the mysterious heroic spirit he faced might use. Luck was even on his side in a number of ways. His only opponent was the swordsman in the cloak. The other five spirits did nothing but observe the battle from afar. They did not do this in order to go easy on him. In all likelihood, they were simply ill at ease about working with each other. Whatever their reasons for doing so, the other heroic spirits staying out of the battle got Inshin thinking. Their bloodlust was tremendous and they had positioned themselves in such a way as to make escape impossible. First, he shall dispose of this one enemy. That done, it would be possible to find a way out of his, this, his predicament, make his escape, reunite with Musashi and the others. What say we finish this, Hozoin? Fine with me. Very well, then. Ah. Oh, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. The cloaked man no doubt believed he had defended against the attack. There was no mistaking that his katana had blocked the tip of Inshin's spear several times. It was wrong. In fact, Inshin was matching his own strikes to the man's movements. It was impossible for any to defend against this blow. I see. I should have dodged instead of parrying, huh? Oh, it's like me playing third strike. I can't believe you fell for such a simple trick. It seems I've misread you. Uh, you fell? What? what? He fell? What? It seems I've misread you, Hoso and Inshin, if only slightly. I pierced your heart. Farewell, anonymous swordsman. Anonymous, hmm? Ridiculous. Your every action is ridiculous, Inshin. None of it more so than your mindless imprudence. Did you truly think your admittedly incredible but woefully human technique would even work against us? What? I, I can't move my spear. I admit that attack would have killed a human or any other heroic spirit for that matter. No human can survive having their heart crushed. Few heroic spirits can withstand their spirit core being shattered. Indeed, your spear was sharp enough to fell even a god or the Buddha himself. Unfortunately for you, my sword has surpassed even the gods and the Buddha, and ascended to true supremacy to the realm of Imperio. Resign yourself, Hazoin. My cursed name is Saber of Imperio. Oh, God. Limbo, finish him off. <laughs> you got it. Go on, my little pentagram. Devour his light. Oh, no. That's the mark of the devil. Cursed. Cursed. What is this? It'd be such a pain to capture people with good instincts. You shouldn't be wandering around as a mere heroic spirit, Lord Inshin. You were summoned to Katori Shrine as nothing less than the Seventh Servant. Really, it's very simple. We need you to be reborn and join us as a heroic spirit swordmaster, whether you want to or not. It is unfortunate that you developed a sense of freedom when you were summoned, unlike the rest of us. I cannot move my limbs. Is this some sort of curse? Now, let's see. With the, which curse of annihilation should I infuse you with? Mm, let's try this one. What? Stop, stop it. 
What are you doing to my spirit core? <laughs> I shall remake your spirit origin, your will, everything about you. Soon you two shall serve our lord sorcerer and our king in hell. In the name of Lucifer, the cre Oh, this is literally Christian, like Christianity's Satan being the thing. I don't like this. I'm not a big fan of the fractal-like hair this dude got. Oh, 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 oh. Now fall into the abyss and become one of us. Oh, Satan, our great devil king and rightful ruler. Devil king, you say? Devil King. Devil Kings for the PlayStation 2. Now, please accept our seventh and final offering. Soon we shall bring the world of humans to an end. There shall be no salvation for anyone anywhere. The heroic spirit swordmasters endowed with the curse of annihilation shall lay waste everything in sight. They shall be invincible blades of destruction. Well, color me... Color me interested in the fact that they are not showing who these characters are. Well, half of them. Ancient Spirit found its mark. It truly had destroyed the swordsman's heart. That much was neither illusion nor trickery. He indeed succeeded in killing his foe. Had the swordsman possessed the flesh and blood body of a living being, or the etheric body of a heroic spirit, he would have died instantly. He would have, had he only been an ordinary living being or heroic spirit. Now I see, so this is the power of their karma. Indeed, I had never thought to cut what cannot be seen. It's the realm that my spear has not reached. So this is bad. It's very, very bad. There is no way to fight creatures like these. Run away, Musashi. Onoe, Tasuke. Run away and do not stop, Tanner. Whatever you do, do not let yourselves be caught. That was his final thought. As Hozoe and Inchin plunged into darkness. Yeah, he's gonna be evil. We're gonna have to fight him. And okay. Purgatorio ending. Wow, there's a lot in these. There's way more than the last ones. Um, I guess we can get you because you're quite strong, so we'll get you. Otherwise, we got you, you. Oh, yeah, like, look at this. Look, look at this. We're all good. Uh, I'm going to go get out. People are, remember people said use this. This is the one I want to use this chapter, so I will. I shall. Let's go. Okay. Hey, we should have put a good amount of distance between us and them now. We definitely can't let our guard down yet. It wouldn't exactly be shocking if they can just blow right through bamboo for us like some kind of freaky wind. Still, I think we can take a quick break. Enough for Tanner to catch his breath. So scary. I've never seen anything as scary as those shadow people before. You were scared too, weren't you, Taske? <laughs> Hope Inchin's okay. He's not turning evil. I do too, but we shouldn't get our hopes up. It was up against six highly skilled opponents, each of them exuding a demonic aura beyond anything any normal person should ever possess. It all depends on how far his, uh, noble phantasm was it? Or I can get with that. Lord Inchin's skill with a spear far exceeds that of any normal beast, oni, or person. You're only up against an ordinary swordsman. You easily defeat a hundred or even a thousand of them. But those people were anything but ordinary. They're like demons. They didn't leave a single opening. Just thinking about them gives me the creeps. Lord Inchin would have a hard time defeating them all. Oh, hopefully he makes it out there intact and not evil. Yeah, yeah, you're right. For now, we should keep running. I don't know, whatever keeps evil spirits out of villages will work on those guys. But right now, I don't see any other option. They won't run from us, we'll just have to run away from them. Like they say, she who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Well, running away can be a good thing. That's right, remember that, it might come in handy one day. Okay. What a good girl you are, Anui. You must have been so scared, but you've already stopped crying. I'm still scared, but I have to be strong for Tosuke. I'm his big sister, and he's still just a baby. <laughs> the spirit. Hey, why don't I carry you two from here on out? Uh, okay, I've caught my breath. Let's go. Alright, let's get going then. Wait, 
Okay, looks like I spoke too soon. And figure we bump into someone else here. We did. And they're right over there. Tanner, take care of Anoi and Tosuke. Who's ever hiding over there? Show yourself. Oh, that was fast. That took no time at all. Mr. Monk. Ah, you're good. Thank goodness. Sorry, you're okay. You're clearly not good. Now I see. This, this is bad. This is very, very bad. There's no way to fight creatures like these. Lord Inchin? Run away. Run away, Musashi and Oitasuke. Run away and do not stop, Tanner. Whatever you do, do not let yourselves be caught. Do not let me catch you after I've been transformed. Oh no! He got a sick player two color palette. I've become one of the blades of the Curse of Annihilation. Lord Inchin? No, you are wrong. That is no longer my name. I do not belong to Hozuin, nor do I walk the path of the Buddha. I am Lancer of Purgatorio. My merciless Jumonji spear shall tear you all to pieces. Mr. Monk? Children, babies, both are precious treasures, the pure sorts of innocent life. Why are you staring at an Oetasuke? You know why. Both children and babies are wonderful things. They must not be mistreated nor taken for granted. They are the treasures of all mankind. That is why I must kill them. Inchin! Your defense is impenetrable and your movement's quick as lightning. You've gotten a lot stronger in the short time since I last saw you. I'm afraid you're not nearly as good looking now. Not at all is I who is impressed by your skill. The keen flashing of your blades is truly worthy of admiration. But it is futile, all for nothing. I have been chosen to serve under the curse of a lie nation. Not even Shinman Musashi's dual blade shall stand in my way. Now move aside. I must kill every human that still draws breath. I will not suffer babies to live. I will not suffer children to live. Die, 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 Indeed, 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 indeed. All that remains of Hozo and Inchin is his body. Now enough, the time for talk is over. Musashi! Tanner. Oh boy. Okay, well. Good thing I grabbed Musashi for a thematically appropriate battle. Let's see. It seems like we're going to have probably a... Okay, two junk... Junk mobs for meter, and then we got some other stuff. Okay, let's go. A little bit of this to get started. Nice, that killed. Good. Okay. Yes, please keep attacking Sieg. Bonus effect. What is does does it say? Just debuffs. Okay, it doesn't say. It'd be nice if it told us what debuffs they were, but alas. Okay, that killed. And this will as well. Okay. So now we're gonna have the swordsman dude. Yes, and a morning ghost. Okay. Um, let's go like this. Ah, that didn't kill. Okay, let's go kill, meter, kill. Well, not kill, but damage. Yeah, these guys are as, about as bulky as the um, the knights. Well, not, not as much, but the knights from uh, the previous chapter. Power of life or death? Okay, just gives yourself sure hit. Not anything too troubling. Okay, let's see. Can you do 45 damage? Mm, no. Okay. Um, this will definitely kill. And give yourself enough meter for a, a one coming up. Though sadly, with our our battle outfit, we don't have the ability to grant meter. Okay, though we can gander, which is quite nice. 
Oh yeah. Oh, you're you're very angry, huh? Okay. Um Let's see here. Uh let's go. Hmm. Should we gander? Yeah, let's gander to just start off with some damage. Okay, there we go. And let's go get yourself some meter. Oh, that's a weird noise. Um, okay, so let's do let's do this just to. No, this is just I don't think I want that though. No. Uh, let's at least just do... I mean, it's resist down. Hey, but meter is meter. Meter is meter, so... Damage is damage. Stars be stars. Not bad, not bad. Oh, you have an extreme filter on your voice. Seeking the truth, okay. Oof! That's, yeah, that's that that's some damage, huh? Boy, bringing Emya was a bad idea, but thankfully we could do a big Musashi combo. Let's do that. Do this, Buster up, yeah. Let's go. We got enough for Super 2. Very nice. Okay. Ah, Signo! Ripperoni! Oh, we got Benavir 2 here. Nice. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna do... Um... Let's do a... Big Buster Combo. Like how none of that was translated, by the way. It's great. Okay. Sure hit, crit right up. That sure hit kind of sucks with your noble phantasm there. Um, let's see here. Let's try this. I mean, you, it won't really work, but... Um, I mean, the best bet is to just do another big combo with you, right? Yeah. Because like, we don't really have... Yeah, okay. Let's go. Get some of those lower rank crits, though. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So th is this still going to be a buff? Yeah, still a buff, okay. Oh, rip! Wow, okay. J Jaguar Warrior! Um, okay, well. I mean, you're going to miss the first hit, but the rest will go. Will be good for damage. Cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, hi, Betty. Uh, okay. Um, gain. That's not going to help. That's not going to help at all. Okay, try your best, dude. Try your best. Just need to survive one turn and you got this. Just need to survive the one. That's not happening. Okay, let's withdraw and try this again. Because I didn't know that he would be the opponent. And having Emya on that team was bad news bears. So... Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. 
Okay, we're going to try that again. Um, now, I could bring Musashi. Now, you're level 4. So, your Noble Phantasm is better, but you have more skills and that Invincible, which sure hit doesn't go through, so... I think you're better. Thematically still appropriate. Okay, you need to go away for swords, swords, and swords, sword, 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 sword up. Um Okay, let's hmm. You guys will rock the first couple, right? Let's see here. Instead of this, we'll just give you we need one that's less than 12. Let's see here. Buster card, Noble Phantasm up. Sure. This one is... The damage cut will be nice, yeah. This one is... Sea Stars. Uh, we'll give you instead... Art card effectiveness. Yep, that's real good with you. Because yours is all art based. Um, What is this one? Beautiful art. I like it. Uh... Increase Buster Effectiveness by 20% and begin with... Oh, that's good. That is good. That's good. I like that. Aerial Dive. You got that. Okay. Alright. Let's give this a try now. Hopefully things go a bit better. Alright, we can skip that. Okay. Alright, these guys are going to be not much to worry about. I mean, they'll deal some damage, but not much in comparison. Let's actually work on you first. Okay, do a bit of this. Then you. Then you. Oh, that's big numbers. Okay, good. And uh, now we'll go like this. Because I'll definitely be able to kill with these guys. Yeah. Very nice. Good meter. Good meter gain. Okay. Battle 2 or 3. I'm, honestly, Gil, now's the time to use him. Because of the fact that, like, this is the only time he'll be able to deal the damage. So let's do it. Because he's going to die pretty much immediately. So let's go Enuma. And that and that, sure. Okay. Ooh, is that an insta kill on the back guy? Yeah, it is. Nice, nice. Okay. Alright. Now, I could actually send Gil out of the battle. I could. That is nice. Nice! That's good. Okay. And hey, we get a full combo with you too, huh? Nice. Um... Sure, and then let's go like this. Start off with as much damage as we can get. Okay, seeking the truth. Hey, thank you for giving me up to 100%. Um, so now we're going to go get her meter as well. This will go easier this time now that I know what I'm facing. I think that's genuinely how most of these battles go. Ah, uh, ooh, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go up, up, two. 
Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Defense down and everything too. Heck yeah. Hey, remove debuff, or remove buff, which is even better. God, that is... That's so much easier! That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous! My man's dying so hard. A man's been destroyed. Nice job, everyone. You did it. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> ah, Gurk. Ah, oh, I've turned myself into a pickle Hazoin. I'm pickle Inshin. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Mister, I can't see anything. Why are you covering my eyes? It was a clean cut. It's over. Your body must have been slow to react. So you couldn't keep up with your mind. It's so sad we ended up facing off like this. Wow. On screen decapitate. Well, on screen. I don't know why you ended up this way. Not exactly. At least I know it happened because you helped us escape. One of us had to stay behind after all. Farewell, Lord Inshin. I'm sorry it came to this. I only wish I could have laid you to rest with techniques surpassing your own. Oh. Well, that's one way to get around it. This isn't the first time we've seen a decapitated servant. Why do you look so sad, Musashi? Do you think you've won just because you've cut off my head? Oh no, 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 no. We heroic spirit swordmasters are invincible. There, good as new. You can cut our heads off all you like with these pathetic little knives of yours. It affects us not the least bit. Ah, uh, I think you cut it too cleanly. Pathetic little knives, you said? Put everything I had into that swing, you know. You were testing your newfound immortality, huh? In other words, you could have avoided it if you wanted to. You choose to let me cut off your head. I see, I see. You think my swordsmanship is no threat to you, huh? Is that what you think, you pissant stick wielder? That's a strong insult. That's it, Musashi. That's the kind of humiliation I want to see. Very well. Now that I know the wonders of this body, I shall see how sharp this Jumonji spear is by shoving it through your heart. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. I'm gonna have to turn you down there. Don't bother. You have no choice in the matter. Tanner, we're making a break for it. Run away, live to fight another day. What is it now, mister? Are you going to carry us again? How unfair can you get staying alive even after your head goes flying? There's no way I'm fighting an opponent who can't, won't die even if you kill him. <laughs> but I thought people die when they're killed. <laughs> they put that in there absolutely for that reason. Well, here's another stratagem number 36. She who fights and runs away lives to fight another day, yep. <laughs> you have made a wise decision by running away, Musashi. Good. Good. Keep running as far as you can. Unfortunately for you, I have your scent now. Try as you might, you'll never get away from me, little girl. Oh boy. Well... This is not going. This is this is up there with one of the worst times we've ever had. Ah, uh, more running, huh? Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, let's grab ourselves. What are look at all these summer these summer folks? Nobunaga makes sense to be in this time frame, so we'll bring you there. And hey, look at this party, good to go. Uh, you guys are still good back here. You're good. You're good. So. Let's, uh, why is, why do I have auto-burning settings on? Oh, I can automatically get rid of experience? Well, I won't, don't want that. That's, that's, that's still good. 
For the moment, let's try making a break for the village. We don't know what that thing that looks like Lord Inshin is made of, so we can't be sure it won't be able to follow us in there. Still, it's the only option we have right now. At least it's the only one I can think of. I'm so tired of those things getting in our way. Or should they just leave us alone already? Seriously, can't catch a single break. Oh. Did someone say our names? Yeah, yeah, here we go again. I know we hang on to Tasuke. Okay. Kinda in a hurry here, and on top of that, I'm still kinda pissed. Might be too if you just had one of your strongest blows laughed off as a practice swing. Not a shame to run away, but I got my pride as a swordsman that really sucked. I'm not gonna try and contain my anger or listen to anything you might have to say. Right now, I'm just as angry as annoyed as you are. Don't expect me to hold back while I cut my way through. She really wears her... her stuff on her sleeve, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. More ghosts. Alright. Well, let's go. Uh... Boom. 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 Level 100, Nobunaga. Nice. Okay. Alright, and now let's go... A bit of this. And there's that one down. Let's see what this bonus effect is going to be. Well, no we won't. No, we will not. Okay. Alright, and let me guess. A spirit and a uh, swordsman? Oh, two of them! Two of them! Alright, well... Oh, you have a lot of HP, actually, dude. You have more than I would have thought. Okay, well, let's go... Um... This... Versus Divine. Probably not. Gather up. Nice, nice. Strategy, Noble Phantasm gain up. Alright, so we're gonna go... Enuma, that, and that. Alright, alright, let's see how we do. Good damage. Even better damage. Okay, uh, now we'll go... Let's try and get rid of these guys, so let's go... A little bit of this... Oh, that sucks. Okay. I didn't even see what that was, the decrease of, but... Alright. Okay, now we'll go... Battle kill. Into this, into this. Okay. Big bust ups. So close. And finish it in style. Okay, I do- I love this battlefield, by the way. So good. Okay, okay, okay. In general, as you go on, you can tell they really make the, those battlefields look nice. Okay, we're almost at Grandpa's Hermitage. Just turn right here and then go straight. We have to get there before he catches up to us. I agree. Okay, then let's run for it. Here, I'll carry Inoue and Tosuke. Run as fast as I can, too. I know it's hard, but hang in there. It must be a little longer now. Okay, let's get a move on.
And... Again, is there anything saying that this village can actually... Stop... Them? We did it! We made it to the village, and there's no battles here, so everything might be Daishobu! Maybe! The village is right over there. You should see it after we cross that slope. We made it. I wonder if everyone's sleeping since it's already nighttime. Oh, but we should tell them scary things have shown up, or maybe we shouldn't wake them up right now? Uh, hopefully, whatever it is that keeps evil spirits away from villages will work on Lord Inshin, too. But it might not, in which case we should probably have everyone evacuate in a hurry. The way Lord Inshin is now, I'm sure he won't hesitate to... Hey, come on, let's hurry. We have to warn people here either way. Ah, you're right. No, wait. We're too late. Should have known that a servant could outpace a normal human. Damn it all! Quick, get in that haystack. We have to hide. Oh, we're doing the, uh... We're doing the Assassin's Creed thing. What? Sorry, please stay quiet. I don't know if uh, we'll be able to hide from him, but we have to try. I know I saw someone here just a moment ago. They must have hidden themselves in that hay where they tremble with fright even now. So you've turned coward, have you, Shinman Musashi? No matter. Even though I have only just been reborn as a swordmaster, I cannot abide by this stench of life. This place positively reeks of it. Village, huh? I see it will be a trifle difficult to pass through the entrance, but that's hardly cause for concern. It may stop the dark weaklings, but for us heroic spirit swordmasters, it may not exist at all. Now then, Musashi, are you listening? If you won't come out, then I'm afraid I'll have no choice. Oh boy. Oh no. It was then that the sounds began. First, there was only Inshin's howls of rage as he were cursing life itself. Soon after came the sounds of something being demolished. Oh god! And the sounds of tearing, piercing, and slicing rang out. Sashi covered her noise ears, unsure whether she would understand what was happening. What's going on? Who are you? Why would a monk attack us? Uh, my arm! Honey, honey, I... No, please, please! His head, oh god, what happened to his head? Oh. There were no survivors. The voices of men, women, all sorts and all kinds, every one of them screaming. One, two, three, four, five. I knew I would never forget the number of people I heard screaming. After the 54th scream! Oh well, nothing to be done now. If Musashi and the other humans refuse to serve my quarry, its villagers will just have to serve in their place. <laughs> what a grand, lovely feeling. Oh my god! If you and Tanner are hearing this, Musashi, then remember it well. Thanks to your decision to hide, my spear has grown so delightfully drenched. I never knew that blood was such an effective lubricant. Jeez! Now my spear has become sharper than ever. <laughs> you have my thanks. Not only do I already possess an invincible body, but now an invincible spear as well. Man held back his urge to scream with all his might. Instead, he ground his teeth until his gums started to bleed. Finally. So sorry, that must have been hard for you. I know you wish you could have gone out there and helped. It must have been excruciating not being able to do anything for them. There really was nothing we could do, please understand. Can't stop Lord Inch and there's no way to defeat a demon who doesn't blink at getting his head cut off. Even if I were to try and fight him... I have no weapons, no blade capable of killing him. So once he caught up, this was inevitable. That, that makes any of this easier to swallow. <sighs> I am sad and angry I couldn't help them. I'm with you there, so we'll just have to do whatever we can. Unplugging my ears now? What sort of game is this? I, uh, I mean, I guess we shouldn't wake up everyone after all, should we? Let's hurry to your grandfather's hair, Termitage Anui. Sure? Yes, come on, let's hurry over there. I even have to carry you all myself. I'll make sure you, Tosca, and your grandfather stay safe. Now let's go. This is... dire. This is absolutely the, in the realm of... just... bad. Okay. We have... Oh. Okay, guest servant. Please set... The support member as a starting mem- Oh. Interesting. Has to be a starting member, huh? Okay, well. 
let's see here. Let's also grab you, and then let's grab... I don't really have any other good sabers, but I do have... Um, we will get you as a helper. I'm going to put you right here, actually. Okay. This will probably be the best format we can have. Because you're actually pretty good, dude. Bedivere is actually pretty dang, pretty, pretty really good. Especially once I do his, um, his quest there. It'll be even better. I'll give you now, um, dive, dive to blue would be nice. That'll be good for you. Buster up. Okay, got that, got that. Okay, well, let's, uh, give it a go. Royal, royal knights are here. There, that must be it. We're here. Wow, that was fast. It's okay, you don't have to carry us anymore. Tusky and me must be really heavy, right? Nah, you're both still feather light. I could carry you all the time without breaking a sweat. There we go. Thank you again for carrying us, Miss Samurai. Can you carry me again sometime? Sure, I'd be glad to carry you again if I have to. If you'd just like me to. Oh, Miss Samurai, you're so strong. Much stronger than any man I've met. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not. I'm actually just an ordinary girl like you. That's why both Tanner and I are at our limits. I know we... I think, yeah, your grandfather... You could ask him for some water? Oh, boy. One glass of water would be plenty. And as I say that, I will take a sip of my coffee, which is as cold as water by now. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Cold coffee's still good. Oh, I still have some water in my bamboo flask, too. I guess Mr. Monk didn't drink it all. Oh, well, that's good. Hmm... Right, of course Lord Inchin would do that. We may not have known each other long. You could tell that's the sort of person he was. Here's some water, mister. Oh, that's the good stuff. Ah, it hit the spot. Hey, you look a lot better now. Before you were really pale, but now you look normal. That's right, Tanner, you do look a lot better. I wonder if this hermitage has anything to do with that. Nice to have a home base, you know. Hard to explain, but I feel a strange power here. That's nothing like that evil aura. It could also be a powerful barrier at work. I bet it could have been this hermitage that was keeping the monsters away from the village all along. Not that I have any evidence. Still, this one might just be strong enough to keep even Lord Inchin out. I could- I definitely can sense some magical energy. Masculine youth. Absurd. The only thing that's here is my smithy. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting... Wasn't expecting that. You cannot see? I have the biggest damn smile on my face. Now the village folk come by either. All the things making a racket outside my window. Or in my ears would I thought they'd be a lady samurai and a boy in strange garb. Oh my god, it's M. Yashiro. Hi! You travelers, I take it? Hell brings you two here. Oh, you're a bit more gruff than the Shiro I know. Hi, Gra Grandpa! I have several questions. Uh, hmm. Wow. I mean, I guess if, like, even stay night at, like, 17 was. And again, it's possible, I guess. Da da. So you're new as guests. Just said so. Just saved me a lot of trouble. You look oddly familiar somehow. Huh? Wait, huh? Aren't you awfully young to be anyone's grandfather? You barely look older than me. And there's that bear katana in your hand. I have an eye for judging the craftsmanship of swords, but even I can tell it's something special. Don't give me your lip. I don't know I look young. I was born with this face, you know. Of course I have a katana. I'm a swordsmith. Take a look around. There's a bunch of them lying all over the place. Of course he's a swordsmith. Of course he is. Now that you mention it. Wait, you're just leaving them out like this? They're failures. Never you, never you mind that. No way you and Tosuke head inside. What about Miss Samurai and the nice man? Need to talk to them first. Now get... 
Okay, coming soon, Miss Samurai. You too, mister. Oh, this is all worth it. <laughs> Never gets them down. Thanks for saving them. When I saw the sky turn dark in the middle of the day and the moon shining blood red, I was afraid for their safety. Thanks for saving them and bringing them back to me. I invite you in right now. First, you need to tell me about you, about yourself and your clan. The condition for letting you inside. Wish I could. I'm so sorry. It looks like I made a bad call. He, not that. I was just hoping against hope that he wouldn't follow us to the village. But he did, and now he's caught up to us again. Uh, Lancer Purgatorio. He's not ancient anymore. Oh boy. <laughs> Here you are. I knew I smelled your stench. Living creatures positively reek, but at last I can now distinguish your stench from all others, Musashi. So, you decided to run here? <laughs> so there was another besides us. But no matter, no matter, my Jumonji spear is more than capable of felling any being that is not a heroic spirit sword master. Oh no, Grandpa, get out of here. One strike is all that it'll take. Are you calling Grandpa? Die! Shut up. Whoa, did that- did you just rend his upper body off? At a glance, it looked like he swung his sword the way an old man would wave a cane around. And yet, his speed- I- Grandpa Emya is the weirdest twist I never would have expected. His dodging Lord Inchin's thrust was an amazing feat in itself, and the blow he struck afterwards destroyed his entire upper body. He doesn't seem like a swordsman. In fact, I'm certain he's a smith, so how did he pull that off like it was nothing? Tanner, am I seeing things? Or did that actually just happen? Now his sword is falling apart. Didn't expect much anyway. It's another experimental blade. Damn it, another failure. I've gone and wasted another sword. So, you were just testing it? But a sword that breaks after one blow is just... Shut up. They're not defective. That's just how I made them. Forget it. Look, this fellow's still no worse for wear. It's no use. Our body is not flesh and blood, but merely a means to an end. There is no gruesome technique, no mystic blade that could hope to reach our spirit core. Is that so? Just keep doing it, huh? It is no use, none whatsoever. This fellow is like something out of a bad dream. My luck, the kids had to bring an immortal monster back with them. Yeah, I should have just stayed inside. This fellow is even worse news than he looks. Nothing to be sorry for, Smith. Your blades were useless to begin with. Human blades could never hope to stop us. Human power cannot hope to contain us. For example, I killed everyone in the two villages lying west and north of here before I came to this hermitage. It was all too easy. Did you say two villages? I killed men, women, every person that breathed. Old, young, male, female, it made no difference. I did spare the dogs and livestock, though. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps they'll enjoy feasting on their former owner's remains. You know, I, never mind whether that's true or not. You ain't right in the head, especially for a monk. Not even monks who partook in wars would lay their hands on common folk. Or is that get up just some sort of bad joke? <laughs> I am now nothing less than Purgatorio itself. I have no mercy for the living and have lost any interest in pursuing ascetic practices in order to improve my sojutsu. Every fiber of this body, every drop of its blood has become one with the curse of annihilation. That's enough. Just shut up, Purgatorio. The Zoan Inchin is already gone. You don't get to use his body anymore. You don't get to spew those vile words in his voice anymore. Oh, at last you're using my cursed name. What you say rings true, for I am no longer human nor monk. Now that I'm a heroic spirit swordmaster, I have no need of this former body's name. All I want is your lives, nothing more. How did this happen? I know not. Did they do something to you? I know not. Go back to being the old instrument again? No, I cannot. Oh, he's like crying tears of blood? Musashi is correct. Hozo and Inshin is dead. All that remains here is my body, is his body, a puppet animated by karma. The only way to stop me is to kill me, to destroy me, to leave not a speck of me behind. Leave but an arm, a finger, and I shall return to slay all living things. <sighs> Big talk. Sasha, will you help me again? Sure thing. Make sure you back me up, Tanner. 
We have just one opponent, a monster wearing his own ancient skin. There may not be any money or fame to be gained from this duel. That doesn't mean I'll hold anything back. I won't sheath my blades until he's good and dead. Usually, I try to take it as easy as I can. Duels are such a hassle, I try to avoid them as much as possible. But in this case, there's clearly no other option. Not only is our opponent incredibly strong, he's also a monster out to kill us, one who doesn't bat an eye, having his head cut clean off, no less. It's alright, I give in. It's a fight he wants, it's a fight he'll get. If he means to risk his life by standing before me, I'll do everything in my power to cut down the monstrosity wearing his skin. Grandpa, I'm gonna borrow this sword you made. Oh? I can feel it tingling with the divine aura. I knew it, this sword is on a whole other level. Stop, trust me, leave that one alone, it's one of my worst failures. It'll cut through stone armor, even diamond effortlessly, but you can't use it on people. I admit, in some ways it's some of my best work, but it's too terrible to use on any decent folk. Here I went overboard and pushed it into the realm of demons. It's a twisted thing that I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of. Really? You don't say. In that case, it just makes it better for this. I'm a flesh and blood person going up against a monster. I'd be a little reckless if I'm gonna beat him. It matters not what manner of weapon you may have procured. No blade exists that can slay the heroic spirit swordmasters. Care to find out for yourself, Musashi? My body will regenerate from any wound as many as it needs. Will you still attempt to cut it down with your Ninten Inchiryu? Of course. Truth be told, I've been waiting for this. I do usually try to avoid fighting when there's nothing in it for me, but only when it comes to fighting for fun. There's some real purpose find to fight? Well, that's another matter. Why do I train? Why do I wield a blade? Why do I slice or sever or at times stop in my tracks? It's all to reach the apex of mastery. I never hope to reach the void alone. That's why I wanted to fight you. A no-holds-barred battle between two experienced swordsmen is a treasure that will outshine even gold. He doesn't use a sword, though. It took till this long for me to say it, I know. I shall gain more knowledge from this duel than I would from a thousand meditations or even ten thousand battles. My only regret is that my opponent is no longer human. That the great Hozoan, with his incredible divine aura, has fallen to darkness. It may still be a foe I could not hope to surpass, but that is also where the key to my victory lies. Face me, monster, I shall use my fifth force to smash your spear to smithereens. That's the spirit. Very well, then. In the name of Lucifer, the great Satan himself, we shall do battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. This feels like that thing Lady Cannon does. Also different somehow. Oh, it feels like a reality marble. Come forth, my blood-soaked frontier. This mound of bodies and river of blood shall serve as the stage and consume the loser's soul upon their defeat. My blade's cursed name is Lancer Purgatorio. My vessel's true name, Hoso and Inshin. Prepare yourself, Shinman Musashi. Our final battle is upon us. Let's do this. I can't get over... Grandpa Shiro. There's so many things that I want to say right now, but need to know what's going on. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! Shut up, that's so cool! I can't believe they had that awesome thing. That's rad. Okay. So we're going to pop on a defense up for us because that's going to be important. Um, let's also get stars for you. Do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start off by doing a full combo here. Oh, he has a break gauge. He also has a negative thing, but thankfully we've got debuff resist. That'll be very useful. I got to level up Betty. I know. Okay, quick up, mana resist. Planning ahead. Oh, well. Yep, that's smart. That is real smart. What is your minus there? Increase critical rate dur- Ooh, okay, I see, I see. All right. Um, now let's go with, um, you got a hundred there, which is pretty good, but, okay, yeah, we'll go like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's unsealed. Knowledge of the Soa. Okay, now let's go... Uh, yeah, let's go... 
Erendite. Let's try and get Betty's, and then let's do this. Good damage, good damage. Okay. Okay, sales defense down. Um, we can go... We can get a bunch of sea stars, which will be nice. Okay. This will give you... Increase your gauge. Mental debuff resist. That should be good. Yeah. Hopefully that'll give you enough for your attack. We'll see here. Yeah, it does. Good. And nice guard. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go... Guard there. Attack up. And do this. Alright, so now we're gonna go... Switch on into these. See how much we do. I definitely, I know. Betty here is showing how awesome Betty can be. Nice. Is that it? Did we do it? Nope, not yet. Close, though. Okay. Um, well. He's gonna do his Noble Phantasm, which will suck, but at the same time, it is what it is. So let's go like this for now. Good, we got the break gauge. I was slightly worried that we wouldn't. Redoubled effort. HP recovery every turn. Oh, that's going to be annoying. See, now normally I'd be like, ah, oh, whatever. It's a buff one. But now I'm like... That damage increase is gonna suck. Yeah, look at that. Five, so he gets 5,000 back every turn, huh? That's a problem. Um, Well, let's go actually. If you have get rid of Invincible, that means we can hit him at least. Um, Sure, let's do that. And Buster up, so we'll go... Go like... Like this for now. Lancelot probably won't survive the next thing. Okay. Yeah, he's done. Okay. Oh, so it was Betty. 5,000 HP's returned. Okay. Alright. Mash, pop on that defense up. Um, okay. You know what? Let's do a thing here. Also give you this. Also give you... Oh, we don't have attack up anymore. Um, so let's go... A little bit of this. Yeah, as long as we do at least 5,000 damage. It's like we got it, so... Yeah, which we got. Okay. Knowledge of the Soa, sure hit. Wow! Okay. Um, you know what? Sure hit doesn't affect the, um... The stuff, so... Let's pop this on... Because, I mean, it, it... You're already buffed. So, just be a target focus while we get some, get some attacks going, you know? Just like, that's our best bet for now. Hopefully get Mash all buffed up. Yeah, because I want, I want him to do a full combo so that he can hopefully... Hopefully... Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Saber Lily literally just needs, like, to be sneezed at and she dies. Yep, there's the sneeze. Okay, well, your Noble phantasm sealed, which is annoying, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so can't use that, so instead we'll go... Like this. We got that. Hopefully can't seal multiple Noble Phantasms. We'll see. Okay. God, those buffs are getting bad. Oh my god. 
Okay, good. Didn't seal yours. Okay. Um, well. Let's do just a big full combo with you, I guess. Okay. Gawain's here trying his best. It's not Sunny. He's probably gonna die. Okay, it's gonna come down to... Okay, actually, he's not doing too good, because his buffs are gone there. Well, some of them are. Um... Let's see. Well... Attack up. Attack up. Let's try our best with, with a Gawain combo here, because we got full... Full Gawain up here. Do your stuff, dude. You were terrifying in Camelot. Okay. Knowledge of the Soa. Sure hit crit rate up. Planning ahead. Yeah, I was expecting that. Okay. Um, let's do this for Buster Up. Also get rid of your Evade if you have it. Okay, let's try this. Should be about it. There we go. Even finished it with you. Thankfully, it wasn't a thing where it's like you have to finish with her Noble Phantasm, because that would suck. That's so cool. I love this aesthetic. It's like the Kirby Samurai minigame. You know the one. Oh, boy. I was sure I felt this katana cut through something. Uh... Sever it as smoothly as if it had cut the shadow of the moon reflected in a pool of water. It was not a heart nor a soul, it was something nebulous, yet still ex essential for the world of humans. It was fate. Its katana cut through something like fate itself. Still, I didn't want to defeat him. I didn't want to fight him. This was neither the place nor the manner in which I wanted to duel Hozo and Inchin. I'd fallen in love with his sojutsu at first sight. It was but a fleeting moment... I still saw the purest representation of a warrior's spirit within it, enough to nearly bring me to tears. Lord Inshin's sojutsu was the culmination of endless refinement. It was the technique of one who sought and reached a different destination than I. Ordinarily, I would never have hoped of defeating him, but that sojutsu was already gone. His beautiful form had been covered up beyond all hope of recognition. As such, I now had any number of ways with which to claim victory. What a tragedy. No monstrous strength, no immortal body could ever surpass the pristine beauty of that spear. <laughs> well done, truly well done. I attempted to pierce you with my spear's essence, but it seems you too wield free-flowing techniques. Or perhaps, had you already come up with a strategy to defeat me after we crossed blades but once? Did you already have a plan for how to evade my sojutsu? Or how you could kill me? Yeah, bring in Benavere, that was my, my, my plan. Not exactly. It's true in my mind's eye. I faced you in a no-holds-barred duel over and over. I thought about what I could do to defeat you. Out of the 32 duels I imagined, I died in 31 of them. We're strong without a doubt, but I could still see a way to win. All I had to do was choose it. The will of the heavens, the laws of this world, Tanner's help. The final decisive factor, this sword you laughed off is worthless. Final trump card, hey? This sword is most impressive. I never thought there would be a blade that could reach my spirit core or in the ether. So my body truly was nothing but a dead vessel. Hmm? This experience has been invaluable. I am fortunate to have fought you at your most serious. What are you doing, woman? That thing's still moving. Remember what he said earlier? If you leave even one finger moving, you won't hesitate to cut you down. Kill him. I already have. Oh? You have my thanks, Lady Musashi. Farewell. That's a, that's, that's a different servant death. Oh, we gotta find out how this happened. Yeah, we do. Farewell. For good this time, Lord Inshin. I swear that someday I will reach the same heights you did. Till then, I hope you can rest in peace, in one hell or another. I'll continue this someday.
Hey, this feels like morning. Huh. Maybe enough time passed that it's morning now? What a weird feeling. Someone in one of the worlds I visited said that sleeping during the day and being awake at night was terrible for your skin. Don't mind. I'm hoping you can lend us a place to sleep so we can get some rest. But first, I really need to stuff my belly. I've never heard anyone's gut growl so loud before. Days have gone without food anyway. Well, alright. I confess that was fairly impressive. The least I can do is feed you. Hooray! I was hoping you would agree, but this is even better than I could have wished for. I'm so grateful! But before that, I have to ask you about this katana. It really does cut through anything. It's so light, too. It's not it. It's real hefty and sub uh, substantial. But it feels light as a feather when you swing it. Uh, you are Anoe and Tosuke's grandpa, right? Katana is amazing. I can't believe how good it feels in hand. I usually don't like to carry around more than four katana, but I could easily make an exception for this. If one minute you're all weepy eyed, the next you're laughing and smiling. It makes my head spin. Go on then, take it. It's all yours. I needed to thank you for bringing Onue and Tosuke back anyway. If you're happy with the katana no one else can use? That sure makes things easy on me. Aren't you really giving this to me? Ears open. Make me repeat myself. Like I said earlier, that thing's a failure. An evil blade that ended up reaching the demonic realm. The ultimate blade I seek is the one that cuts flesh and bone. Any sharp metal thing can do that. An axe or knife works just as well as a sword. A person who dedicates their life to the forge shouldn't be satisfied with something like that. The sort of katana I seek is one that can terminate enmity. One that severs bonds, certainty, karma. After all, if I couldn't make a katana like that, what right do I have to call myself a swordsmith? A sword that severs bonds, certainty, and karma? Now I see, that's what freed Lord Inshin from his karma. Now I think about it, he and those shadowy people even said something to that effect. Well then, it's no coincidence this sword helped me defeat him. They think it's a failure, but it's succeeded at cutting the karma of someone who had been taken by the Curse of Annihilation, or whatever they called it. I mean, I definitely couldn't have beaten him on my own. It was all thanks to the sword. It was all thanks to Katana, you say? Maybe you get it. Never you mind what I said earlier. Not only will I feed you, I'll give you a place to sleep. Go get some shut-eye once you've eaten up. You too, kid. Guy's a not lot nicer than he let a lot nicer than he lets on. Said doesn't change that sort's of failure. You can't cut bonds or certainty with a katana alone. Well, this one seemed to work for karma, don't you think? Suppose it did. It just shows goes to show how good its wielder was. Damn straight. Does this katana have a name? I had to choose one. I'd call it uh Yonjungiri Muramasa. Yo Muramasa! Famous sword. Yojingiri means it can cut things that are beyond human. It's a god cutter. Muramasa? Yeah? Muramasa? Yeah, what? Then you wouldn't happen to be... That's right. Named Shenjin Muramasa. A saber. Oh! A servant. Just like that monk from earlier. Oh! Oh, he's a demi-servant. Oh... Is okay, so I've never ever 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 seen that there is a straight up demi servant Shiro. So I'm gonna place a bet and say that he is not actually summonable at all. Which sucks, cause god do I want him on my team so badly. Dang. Is this the one that people said there's a certain demi servant that everyone wants to be able to summon but can't? It's probably him. Frick off. This is amazing. That's so good. I sure hope... I hope we get a lot more demi-servants, because now I'm like, oh my god. Or pseudo-servants. Or is it pseudo-demi? Am I right? Demi-servant. Am I right? Um, let's see here. Demi-servants are... Wait, no, not a, no, not a demi servant. The one I want is a pseudo servant, right? Right, yeah, pseudo servants. Those are the ones I want. Pseudo servants. Sorry, I get confused with them. Anyways, all right. Well, we're gonna be moving on to the second Cantica uh, Inferno beginning. I see how it's gonna go. Oh, this is gonna be a long chapter. Oh, for sure. Well, we'll see how it goes. But it was worth it for that for sure. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more Fate Grand Order. Ciao.